Hey guys, I'm Tyler. And I'm TJ from Hester Sport Fishing, and today we're gonna to talk about five must-know tricks to be a successful walleye fisherman. So first, let's talk about scent. You know, when people think about walleye fishing, they think about sight and vibration, and they usually skip over a pretty key factor, which is scent. We like to use uh, Procure bait scents and oils. That way when the conditions are, you know, tough, let's talk about muddy water, or uh, high pressured systems, it can really spice up your bait um, and really add a little extra flavor to what you're doing. So here we have real crawfish bait wax. Um, this is really good for applying onto any of your jigs. It's really sticky, it stays on for long periods of time and it works pretty well. Then we have the gels. One of TJ's favorites, Trophy Walleye. And same thing, you can add it to jigs, your worm harnesses, really anything while you're fishing for walleye. And you can really goop up your jigs and it will last all day as well. The next tip we have is waypoints. Now, for me, I personally think waypoints are one of my biggest advantages when it comes to walleye fishing. Um, if you start out the day, you're trying new water, you might catch walleye in a bunch of different areas, but as the day goes on, there's a definite pattern. I definitely see a pattern. At the end of the day, you might see a line of them. You might see that they're all up in the shallow or all deeper for the day. And that can really key in on where those walleye are hanging out at a certain specific time of the day. Yep, so when you guys are fishing, every time you get a bite or a bump or you hook a fish, go to your hummingbird and you know, hit waypoint and get a little check mark to where you got that fish at. And like he was saying, you How know. How many waypoints do you have right now? A lot. <laughs> a lot? <laughs> I think that's the last trip, we had like 1,400. <laughs> Got a lot. And it's just from, you know, over the years, trying to really dial in, you know, you start off with X amount of waypoints in one spot, and you really start to narrow that into really where the congregation of walleye are. And over the years, it Yeah, over it a couple a years, lot. you know exactly where to go, exactly what line to be in. And that kind of leads into the next tip, which is taking notes. So. You get those waypoints, you figure out where the fish are, and if I don't write something down, I'll probably forget it by two weeks or so. So I can look back at the notes and put those with the waypoints that I had for a certain day, and I can really tie in what was successful for the day. Yep, so on my phone, I'll have waypoint number you know, 649, and then I'll be able to pull it up my phone, and I won't do it for every waypoint, of course, but for specific ones, I'll say, you know, this time of year, this was the flow, this was the sun, you know, this is kind of what was going on, just so I have a general idea of, I fished this line with this kind of conditions, this line with this kind of conditions, and really, you kind of have a playbook for any kind of situation you're going out there with. Yeah, when things are getting tough, it's nice to look back at your phone and kind of have the last resort. 100%. So, get into the fourth tip, and it kind of seems like a no-brainer, but we gotta say it, you gotta get a Minn Kota. Those electric motors are yep. phenomenal. It's it's hard to describe if you haven't walleye fished without one. Um, then going to running one, it's it's unbelievable. I, I fished for a long time without running a bow mount. And I thought he's crazy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it. it's unbelievable how much difference it makes. Just be able to dial in your speed, you know, 0.5 at a time, and really be able to say, you know, on my Altera, I can go, I wanna go 1.2 miles an hour yeah. on trolling, or, it's unbelievable how much control you really have with the boat. In. Yeah, exactly. And be able to have hands free while you're driving the boat. You know, you can link your iPilot link to your hummingbird now and you can draw different lines on I want to troll this path or I want to stay on this contour line. It's unbelievable what you can do. Yeah. And again, it's all hands free. You can worry about fishing, not worry about driving the boat the entire time. And us here on the Columbia River, we have some pretty wicked conditions that we fish in, as well as the guys do back in the Great Lakes and a lot of the other rivers, Lake Sakakawi in North Dakota. There's a lot of different things that, you know, a lot of different situations where you want to have your hands free and want to fish. Yep. Minn Kota makes all the difference in the world with that. One of the last tips, and pretty important, is you want to be able to match the hatch and kind of give your bait a realistic style. And so when you're fishing, it's, it's a lot easier and more productive. Yep, so let's say we are fishing, oh, let's talk about late August, early September, okay? And that time of year here in the Columbia, there's a whole lot of shad coming down the river. And pretty much anything you throw, it better be silver because that's what, we're all, that's what all the bait is. You know, so you have a great lure for that time of year. It's one of these zombie jigs. This looks like a giant shad coming down. Um, winter months, you might want to match a perch pattern or a freshwater shrimp or 
crawfish. Exactly. Figure out what the walleye are primarily feeding on. You know, when you catch a couple of your males and you flay them open, check the stomachs. They will have stuff in them exactly. too, so you always want to check that. Don't think just about color, think about size of the bait. You know, mm -hmm. try to dial in your plastic minnow or your your worm for the particular size of bait that they're feeding on, as well as the scent. Match your procure to what you're using. Alrighty guys, so that's our five must-know tips and tricks to catch walleye on the Columbia River. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment below, and we'll see you on the river.